Oh boy, this episode is going to sink. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, today, I appreciate that we kinda... are talking about the Titanic. We are going to talk about the Titanic. We already are talking about the Titanic. We are talking about the Titanic. Right after this intro music, we are going to continue already talking about the thing we were talking about before we recorded the Titanic. What he said. I'm Misty. And I'm Ike. For the next 15 minutes, we're going to debate pop culture. My background's in music. My background's in film. I know the topics beforehand. And I don't. We check the internet for the facts. And ruin it with opinions. From pop rocks in your lunchbox. To Happy Meal toys and swatch clocks. Near. <laughs> Wherever. You are. Okay. For I'm those, doing the froggy version of it. <laughs> I'm so glad that you described what version you were doing because. I was doing the Kermit, Kermit the Frog. Definitely nobody got that. <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm not very good at impersonations, huh? Well, you did a really be- good, like a scary one before this. Don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into uh, Titanic facts. You want to go first? Okay, I do. I have creepy facts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I have scary things. Scary. So. Scary things. So there was an author. Um, named Morgan Robertson. Yeah. And he wrote a novella called The Wreck of the Titanic. And it was about an enormous ocean liner called the Titan. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. The Wreck of the Titan, which hits an iceberg in the North Atlantic and sinks. That is nothing like the story of the Titanic. In 1898 is when he did that. Was that before the actual Titanic sinking? Yeah. When did the Titanic sink? Ooh, good, good question. Why you look that up? Get that in from, oh, 1912. So he so, wrote it 20 years before. Well, this is my scary face. <laughs> um, all right. I right, have 12, a... 13, 14 years. I'm sorry. Wait, 1889? 1898. It sank in 1912. 14 years. Whoa. So yeah, people called him a clairvoyant. And he said, no, I'm not a clairvoyant. A clairvoyant? See things in the future. Clara Voyant. <laughs> Clara Voyant. Hello, Clara. Hello, Voyant. Clara Voyant. Well, that wasn't yeah. very buoyant. Oh, of- and also. Oh. Uh, that wasn't very buoyant. I'd like to apologize to everyone at home for making that joke. You stopped me in my tracks. I Once did. I processed that you said it, I was like. <gasps> oh. It was a sinking joke. No! Oh, God. We do this for the 15 whole minutes. It's a pop culture comedy show. What do you got? Tell me some facts. Um, I have that uh, the price of the Titanic mm-hmm. is right here if you want to read along. The ship didn't. Uh, the ship cost $7.5 million to build. Fun fact, James Cameron's 1997 movie about the disaster had a production budget of $200 million. $200 million. Man. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. Dang. Uh, do you know how many folks it took to build it? To build it? I don't. Uh, Tell me. It was not a one-man job. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid title. It took 3,000 Harland and Wolf shipbuilders to construct the ship. I figured it was more than that. That seems like a conservative number to me. Uh, I mean, can you imagine having 3,000 people working on any one thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. She finally agrees with me. Yeah, I can. Um, Do you know how long it was? How long the boat was? Of or course. how long it took it to sink? Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, of course a guy would want to be like, guess how long my boat is. Uh, of course. That's right, everybody. 882 feet. And it also weighed 52,310 tons. It's so weird because I, I don't know. Like, I can't get a picture in my head of how big it was. Like, in my head, I feel like it's still just a little boat. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> uh, I have a really cool um, aesthetic thing about the boat. Tell me. And then I'll compare it to the size of the Queen Mary down in Long Beach. And oh, then okay. That you. would help me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, one of the smokestacks didn't work. They just put a fourth one on there because it looked better than three. I mean, I agree for, you know. Yeah. But it took up, you know, it took up a bunch of space. Well, it sounds like they had it. <laughs> Apparently yeah. it was a big boat. Well, I'm going to leave the camera on you while I look it up. Okay. Titanic. Well, I'm going to tell you. I can type without mouthing my stuff, right? Titanic it's true, you can. 
So a lot of scientists think that the reason um, that, well, part of the reason that it crashed was because there was a full moon that night. It was unusually close to the Earth. And so that creates stronger tides. And so it sends the icebergs, they move quicker because of the tides. Okay. And so apparently it was the closest lunar approach since the year 796. So that means that that the tide, like the moon was super close and that the tides were just all, all up in arms. They also think that there was a little bit of a optical illusion. Um, The atmosphere on the night of the sinking, they think made it difficult to see the iceberg, even though there was a full moon. Um, Apparently there was, because of the full moon, there was a super refraction which means it's a bending of light that causes mirages. So it's possible that they could have been out looking at the water and as the moon was reflecting off the water, it was creating this like super refraction and they would see the icebergs over here when they were actually over here. How weird is that? Science is so cool. Um, yeah, it's, it, they say that the scientists say that it prevented all of the lookouts from seeing the icebergs in time and that, it, and they also, there was a freighter, the Californian, um, and they couldn't identify it. And so they also couldn't communicate with it because they couldn't identify that it was a freighter because it looked like something else. That is so scary. That is so scary. It's crazy, right? I'm never going on a boat ride at night ever again. Don't. 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 You want to, do you want to see a picture of the Queen Mary next to the top? I do, very much. Bingo, bango. Queen Mary's bigger by a lot. Okay, so I've been thinking about it right then. Yeah, I don't know when they built the Queen Mary, though. I always have this thing in my head, and I've done it several times with, like, big monuments. Mm-hmm. Like, the first time that I saw the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. In my head, it was this enormous thing. And then as we were driving into New York City, I just remember looking over and I was like, oh, that's cute. Look, somebody built a little replica of the Statue of Liberty. (laughs) And my friends were like, no, Misty, that's the real thing. thing." And I was like, no, it's bigger. Yeah, it's got to be. That can't be it. And so in my head, I've always been like, I want to like have this giant impression of what this boat was because they mm. talk about how big it was. And the name makes it feel right. Titanic. But in my head, I've always been like, I think it was like this big. <laughs> like this like a, Queen Mary's. Just a wee size. baby boat. Just a wee little boat. Uh, I just remember that for the audio people, I said uh, it is much bigger, but oh, okay. uh, yeah. I'm say the real numbers. If you're just listening at home, the Titanic was 269 meters, uh, which was 882 feet. And the Queen Mary was 310 meters, which do your own math on meters to feet. <laughs> um, that's on you. That's because we don't math around. Isn't it. it right underneath it? No, it is not. It's there's it two different width settings. Oh, there's 28 meters. And oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. OK. <clears throat> yes. All right. The Titanic was 28 meters or 92 feet wide. And the Queen Mary is 36 meters or 118 feet wide. So basically, percentage wise. The Queen Mary is 28% wider than the Titanic. Okay. Then there's some facts. Facts hmm. for you, Jack. All right. Well, that... I Now I still really don't feel like the Titanic was that big. But I guess back then, that that was huge. It was big. Yeah. Because I don't feel like the Queen Mary is that big. Whoa. Check Why? this fact out. You ready? Tell me. Guess how many lifeboats were on the boat. How many? Guess. 100. 20. There were only 20 lifeboats. How many a, people fit in a boat? It, it was equipped to hold 64 lifeboats. Many of the lifeboats were sent out before they were full. There were 28 people on the first <clears> boat <throat> that had a, com, uh, the capacity was 65. Oh, well, let me tell you something else about the boats. Why don't you go ahead and tell me something else about the boats? <laughs> they were supposed to do a lifeboat drill the same day that the ship sank, mm. and they canceled it for unknown reasons. Nobody has any idea why they canceled it, and they didn't do the drill at all. If they had done the drill, wouldn't all the boats just be out in the water? No, don't you have to pull them back? Yeah, I guess you'd have to reset them. Yeah, you don't just uh, leave them. 
Would you like to know about some of the amenities if you were a first class passenger? I would. You know, I'm super interested. In... This, this title is funny to me. There were plenty of amenities in first class. And then it names three or four. Swimming pool, Turkish bath, squash court, and dog kennel. I'm really glad there was a squash court. I mean, what would we ever do without a squash court on our sinking ship? We go squashing all the time. And a squashing we will go. <laughs> well, you want to know another uh, anemone that they had? Anemone? Anemone. We've lost our morbles <laughs> aboard the Titanic. Yes, hit us with some facts. Um, Everyone has seen the movie, clearly. Um, what movie? <laughs> There's this one about this guy and this bitch that wouldn't let him lay, like lay on her door in the water. Right, and then he just sinks <laughs> right. down into the water. Um, the part about the musicians continuing to play as the right. ship sank. Right, yeah. Is that should That's I put true. that up? It's true. There were actually two bands aboard the ship that played for over two hours as the ship sank. Two different bands. I'm sorry. It took my eyes a second to focus on this repeating meme, and it looked like a a scene from a techno club in Vegas. I mean, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which DJ was playing when it sank? Probably Calvin Harris. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, do, okay, so you remember yesterday when we talked about, or last Friday, because it's Monday, when we talked about that guy who found 86 coins of gold? Yeah, and, and there was coal, and I was really right. excited. Yeah. So the Titanic ran on coal. Oh. Say, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks. And... Hey. That, do you know how much coal it took every uh, day to run? I don't because Boom. I still haven't had time to look up coal and understand what it actually looks like. You had like. all weekend. You had all busy. weekend. <laughs> well, that's what coal looks like in that picture right there. Okay. 800 tons of coal were burned to power the ship every day. Is that a lot? I'm being serious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tons. You know what a ton of things is? I mean, not in reality. It's, okay, it's 2,000 pounds. Yeah, I mean, I know like in my head and then I say tons a lot, but like it's really hard to imagine those things sometimes. Visual. Yes, visual aids for Misty. of a ton. I don't math good. Images. Yeah, like what's a ton of something? What does it actually look like? Like, what's a ton okay. of Reese's peanut butter cups? This like? black ball here is yeah. one ton of CO2. Right, right. But in my world, that's an inflatable and I could walk up and kick it. Right. <laughs> now, one ton of... This is a very bad thing. To here. try to Google? Yes. We're way off track. I think so. Just keep in mind, the ship weighed 52,000 tons. Picture of a ton. Yeah. Million, ton, millions, truck. This is horrible. We're sorry, folks. <laughs> I just, I know like a lot of people don't think about that. They, they use the term ton a lot, but don't have an actual visual representation of what a ton actually entails. So I thought that might be interesting. Anyways, most of the victims died of hypothermia. How about this? How about this? <laughs> okay. This truck bed has one ton of rocks in it. That doesn't seem like very much to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. But what did it take to run? 800. 800 truck beds of that a day. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah. 800 of those. If that's a 800 lot. trucks showed up and we're like, hey, we're here to run your boat. <laughs> Where did all the coal go? Where do they keep it all? In the boat. In the coal room? Yeah, under on top of the 83 coins. Shut up. No, I'll, I'll, I'll find out. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, like, I just think about the logistics of that in my head. I'm like, how do you get 800? Like, it was going to take three weeks for it to get there. So, you know, how do you get all of that coal onto the boat? Where do you store all of it? Because that's and a lot. Did it run faster towards the end when it was lighter from having 800 oh. tons just burn? I bet nobody took the time to do the science on that when they were going down. <laughs> I bet you, J well, not when they were going down, but I bet James Cameron knows the answer to all that stuff. That's true. You know, he's got his own little mini ocean and yeah. mini time and he sinks it like every mm -hmm. couple days and films it i'm not surprised um wow there's a piece of coal from the Titanic. i wanted to tell you a story about a guy on the boat okay <clears throat> so the ship's baker charles joffin survived in the water for two hours before he was rescued 
He claimed that he didn't feel the cold because the whole time he was in the water, he was drinking out of a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> if I ever go on a cruise, I'm just taking a... Yeah. Yeah. I he think... just literally sat there in the water sipping on his whiskey and kept himself warm and f- floated his little flipper legs. And two hours later, he got rescued. That's amazing. You, I mean, you sh- he should have fully, fully died of hypothermia by then. Yeah. Um, I think I have stumbled onto a bigger thing here. Than 800 tons of coal? Yeah, because some people... to me, that pretty much blew my mind. Some people say that the Titanic <laughs> was on fire for many, many days before it hit. Well, that would have been burning the coal, right? It, it would, but there's a... All right, so check this out. There's this burn area right here. Okay. So they're saying that there was a fire in the engine room for multiple days before it... So if if the iceberg hit here where the metal was very hot from being on fire for it multiple would days. break easier. But hot knife through butter. Right. Because the Titanic was supposed to withstand certain impacts. Mm. But if it's all warm and fuzzy from being on fire. It's true. I think you just solved the Titanic. Call, call me, James. I got your... I think you me. did. Um, I, this is my last thing that I've got. Okay. I think this is crazy. I have never heard this out of all the Titanic stories that I've ever heard. There was a ship that was 20 miles away. Dude, I have, I have uh, heard that before, but... The SS Californian had stopped to avoid all of the ice. Its captain saw the Titanic's flares being shot up and ignored them because he thought that they were just rockets or fireworks. The Titanic's SOS signals were not received until the next morning because the radio operator on the boat, California, had gone to sleep. By the time that they got to the scene the next morning, all they found were bodies. Frozen bodies. Well, some people survived in the boats. Yeah. Yeah. But there were a lot more people that did not survive. (laughs) That is nuts. Yeah. I'm going to look up one thing. I'm going to keep the camera on me. How much money did the Titanic movie make? Let's leave you on a high note, folks. Uh, oh my! <clears throat> wow! Lot. Take a guess. Oh, six dollars. One hundred and fifty-four bazillion. <laughs> Close. Two point one nine five billion dollars, yeah. and that's why James Cameron can make any it was, freaking movie he wants. I mean, it was the biggest film in history for a long time until the Avengers Endgame booted its numbers its opening weekend numbers right i did not know that i believe so okay yeah well since it's monday you everybody you, <laughs> can you do that motion again you served. get out of here titanic that's get going, out of here that's going on a t-shirt just a two <laughs> finger misty and ike you sir Good. Well, that was Titanic on a Monday for you. We went a little over, uh, we but there's we you could talk for hours about weird shit that happened. I could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. N- name the movie. Name the movie. Con Air. Nope. Face Off. That's right. <laughs> Just, uh, all right. Since it's Monday. Since it's Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>